Hello, I'm Dawn Patton, actor and teaching artist with Bard on the Beach. In this edition of Speech of the Week, 17 Hamlets speak the speech trippingly on the tongue, as Hamlet recommends, the speech being, what a piece of work is a man. In it, Hamlet explains to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern exactly why they were sent for by the king and queen, describing the profound shift in his temperament and perspective. I'm delighted to see all these interpretations here together. Each interpretation is singular, inspiring, compelling, and creative, and some include amazing natural backdrops and stunning natural lighting. Let's watch. I have of late, but wherefore I know not, lost all my mirth. Forgone all custom of exercises. And indeed it goes so heavily with my disposition. This goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air. Look you. Look you. Look you. Look you. This brave overhanging firmament. This majestical roof, fretted with golden fire. Why? It appears no other thing to me than a foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work is a man. 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 What a piece of work. What a piece of work. Oh, what a piece of work I am. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculty. In form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world. The paragon of animals. And yet, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. What is this quintessence of dust? Quintessence of dust. Of dust. What is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me. Man delights not me. Man delights not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. No, nor women neither. Though by your smiling you seem to say so. Bravo all! Please join us for the next edition of Speech of the Week. You can find more information on Bard on the Beach's website and social media. We'd love to have you join us.